Gracias por Bayus y merci forzo por la vuestra presencia, si es que esto cadena. Yo soy encantado porque es un video especial o que es especial, o la pu primero que es presencial, porque yo he sido al País Vasco, a IGA, que es un rescuntre, a ver, de subes parlaires de lenguas minorizados, y yo he las tres grandes de ese ame. Félix, que parlo en Gales. Dunco, Félix. Adiós. Adiós. So, well, I'm going to speak a little bit in English. Well, who are you, Felix? So, uh, Felix, we are in Bill and Abrastweth, and Henry, and Henry Dikian, and Enor Arta, and we are from the Creative Hebrew School, Abrastweth. For sure. And how you have seen, this will be the sub linguistic, the most complicated, the most inesperate, the most complicated, because we have a comparison of the species between Lugales and Lucita. And yeah, just to say, I don't know if Beth told you. Ah, pizza to precisio. Bes es el amigo galeso del feliz. E de fats es a menos que era el ideo de imprimir de fact este video porque eran al bar a ver de cots. E nos sentimos que sería forzo interesante a tratar de adivinar las expresiones típicos del país de la otra. E dunco ben nos sentimos organizados, habiendo decidido un dato, un momento, un rendezvous. E y soy arriba a mi feliz. Le va que cada vez. Ah, la ves. ¿Ves? Es que me puedes explicar un pauso que te es arriba, ve y ver qué nos falta en los autres. Wow, Oni me un preiso y tac. Ni si han hablado de subir el amser a tu amor, sorry. Ni si vendica nap. Just to say, I don't know if Beth told you, but two days ago we tried to have a full conversation. I was speaking just in Welsh and me speaking just Occitan <laughs> and having some random moves and trying to say, Do you like bike or something? <laughs> I, I like the concept. Yeah, and we ended up just crying, laughing, because it was just totally impossible. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe I can begin? Yeah, all right. Okay. So, um, maybe. Okay, I like this one. So the first expression is Abe pupa la de saumo. Eto, again? Yeah. Abe pupa la de saumo. Um, is that pupa like a uh, pupa, like related to a butterfly? Oh no. No. It's something you do. Um, usually with when you're a very little kid. Okay. This one. Um, is it making the mistake to do something to do with that? Uh, no. So, awe is the verb. Okay. Like to to have. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, awe pupala de saumo literally means um, to be raised drinking donkey milk. Oh, great! <laughs> <laughs> <I know that. laughs> so, what could that mean? Um, is it saying that somebody is not very clever? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. Like, like it. you've been raised with very, very bad milk. <laughs> <laughs> Gwent and Vanorn. So, Gwent and Vanorn. So, Gwent is still wind. Yes. Yeah, nice. Yeah, but what's the sentence again? Gwent and Vanorn. Luben, and you can see Luben is a faki con, so the, the wind is doing something. Yes. Um, so, it can be uh, Gwent and Eidorn and Dorn and Vanorn. So, so, Dorn. Yeah. The Norn. Oh. Wind and the Norn. So the wind, something about strength? Um, actually, it's the opposite in this case. Okay, so. Look at the faiblesse. The faiblesse of the wind. So it's about, like. Oh, something blowing uh, with no strength. Yeah, you've um, you sort of lost it. Um, and it's in it's now so this is now Dorn like closed yeah and what do you make when you close your hand what do I make when I close my hand um, like I 
can't take anything more. It's like a, so it's your fist. Yeah. So Dorn is fist and Gwent and Benorn. Oh, ah, I get, oh yeah, I think, I think I got it. It's like trying to punch the wind. Um, so it would be the wind in my fist. Wind in my fist. But um, more like breath. Breath in my fist. So you just say this like, uh, can you say like, I have wind in my fist? So if I come running up the stairs, panting, hoof yan, I mean then gwynt, oh, yes, you could have gwynt on the norm. So it's like, I'm exhausted. Yeah, out of breath. Oh, to be out of breath. Mm. Okay, so you run and you can say, I'm mm. run. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, I, oh, yeah. This is a really funny one. Okay. But that's not so nice. Okay, well, right, okay. <laughs> so it's an insult. Yeah, you have to okay. do. Yeah, that's not so nice. If you say this or if you hear this, bad sign. Okay, it's good to know. Metrum tapa la flauto. Met. Cassant. Are flute? So putting something on the flute? Oh, right, you got it perfectly. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Metre une tape à la flamme. Okay. It's not, it's not very putting. It's hitting something, I'm hitting the flute. Oh. No, it's not hitting. You're putting the flute. Yeah, you're, yeah. So you have a flute, and you have une tape. Une tape, for example, c'est pour lui emplier à une bouteille. Les bouteilles sont des tapes. So, the. Oh, bottle in Welsh. Bottle. Oh. So is it the is it the cap? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, putting the cap on the flute. Yes. Okay. Okay. So is that you're really bad at playing something, or I could be, or you sound terrible. In a way. In a way. Mm, okay. Yeah. Mm. So is it like you can't talk properly? Yes. Yeah, 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 getting closer. Okay, yeah. okay. You sound stupid or yes. ridiculous. It, it will be, uh, for instance, if I use this sentence, I would say, Oh, pues me trinta para fly to arro, que se van a parlar. A la vez. So, it will be something like that. Okay. Oh, is it? Like a tense interaction. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah. All right, okay. So you put, so you put the... Yeah, it's something you ask, like, what well, you could ask it, like, oh. can you put the... Uh, oh, you tell someone to shut up. Exactly. Ah, okay, I like it. Like, yeah. shut the freaking fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear you I talking like and talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, the, the next idiom I have for you is related to talking. Okay. Well. So, so it's... Um, Sharad Troy Verhet. Oh, Sarat Troy the head. Hmm. Sarat Troy the head. So, Sarat really records, reminds me of the word Sara or Sarat. We have an oxygen. Okay. It means Sarat will be um, um, spoken. Oh. Like, um, Sarato as a conversation. Oh, that's interesting. But Sara is to speak. Well, that's actually Shara in Welsh is to speak. Oh, nice. Mm. Sarra. I'd have to look into the etymology there. Oh, my God. Ebe, aben serkat, din l'equival ingales del TDF, e figura bu, que lumut sarrat, ben efectivo ben dilucita. Alaro, yeo su esta espantat, can I lucita co, can I compartita me luferits, perque es extraordinari. Me pensi que apa tan de mutucitas que son arribat cap al galés, e lo contrari tabe, dunco es assolido men extraordinari de noi dire que be aben trubat un mut que aben engumi. So, Sharad Kamerai is to speak Welsh. Okay. So, does it mean um, saying things clearly? Um, not necessarily. So, in this case, Sharad Troy van Hecht. So, oh, all right, all right. So, so, I have a pra, so. Oh, yeah? Sharad Troy van Hecht. Ah, you're <laughs> speaking into something. Yeah, so hat. It's very close. It comes from English. So the hat. Yeah. You're talking into your hat. Yeah. Okay. So meaning you don't talk um, 
you're not articulating your words with people who understand what you mean when you say. In a way, yeah. Okay. Another being really shy. Plant. No. So I could say. Um, um, I mean, shout out to the girl boy. Okay. Shout out this. You try your head. So. Yeah, would it be something you say to about someone? Or yourself? Okay. Or, or yeah, uh, you could say. Pan, I mean, shout out to the girl boy. I mean, shout out to your head. So I was speaking to him last night, to yesterday, yeah. and he was talking through his hat. Oh, I, it doesn't mean like being really drunk. Not necessarily, you can do it sober. Oh, Many okay. do. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, saying shit. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, talking through your hat. Oh, really? Nice. Talking, chatting bollocks. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Wait, why is that a hat? I don't know. Because they're really sounds like you're not talking properly. Yeah, you're talking for yeah. yourself. Maybe that's what it is. That's like what it was originally. Oh, but, um, so nice. Wow, you got another one in accident? Why not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> but luck. <laughs> okay. I have. I think, yeah, I think I have two others, but they are more complicated because they're really hard to understand. Mm, okay. Because without any context, that's really bad. <laughs> I won't have any chance. Eh? So, no chance. Yeah, maybe. I don't know which one. There's. Okay. This one. Anathema la imalbos. Can you repeat that? Yeah. Anathema la imalbos. Is mal. Like, I can finish mal. No. No. Malbos uh, is something pretty cool, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's a good. The idiom's good? Yeah, the. Well, the idiom's not good. <laughs> but. No, malbo is something great. Okay. Mm. One more time. Of course. Anafema la imalbos. But you can also use it like Anna is a verb. Mm -hmm. There are two verbs. Anna, first verb. Fema, second verb. Lai malbos. Other subject. Okay. And it means doing something or being doing something. And you can also say Is Anna Fema Lai Malbos. So it means uh, they went to do the thing. Mm. So. Is it making a mistake or...? No. So is it more intentional? Uh, yeah, no, it's not intentional at all. It's something you can control, actually. Oh, is it sort of like... Like losing losing it? Like... Yes, in a way, yes. Mm, okay. Mm, okay. Okay. Well, that, that's bad news when you... That's bad news when you... That's bad news and it's said in a way that is not... So so nice. It's not a, a nice way to uh, announce okay. this kind of thing. Mm. It means you say this about someone. Say, uh, mm. like Robert mm. went to this kind of thing. Mm. Went to do this thing, but that means that you you don't really like him if you say it like this. Oh right. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you're not expressing sympathy. Yeah. Exactly. Mm, okay. Anna means to go. Okay. Fema is to smoke. Ah, okay. Like Malvos. I don't know that if there's a translation in English, but Malvos from uh, flowers. Ah. Type of flowers. Ah, okay. Yeah. So we smoked, uh, or one is someone smoked a, a flower. Yeah, it could be like, exactly, it could be uh, you went to smoke daisies. Oh, so they're not daisies, but could be. Is it like, is that that they died? Exactly. Ah, okay. I went, like there's an idiom in English of pushing daisies. Okay. Oh yeah. I'm oh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I've chosen this. Yeah. <laughs> this is the only flower I know. Maybe oh, right. roses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that one. Be smart. Yeah, you're smoking there, like <laughs> oh, okay. some kind of good oxygen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Your last trip. 
it's like you smoke them. <laughs> yeah, you're like, like okay. Yeah. Sí, fui mal animal, por eso. Bueno, me rido de nuevo. So, thank you very much. That was so interesting. Merci por eso. Te fue muy bien. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, how do you say, like, um, goodbye butterflies and thank you for that? Oh, wow. Is that is that a saying in, in English or? In... Yeah, that's something I always say because that's the name of my channel, like Parpay and Blau. Ah. It's blue butterfly, so I say hi butterflies. How are you? Oh, okay. Um, so, just so you say, "Hoi lichi am naur, um, pili pala." Pili pala. Pili pala is a it's butterfly. Is it butterfly? Pili pala. That, that doesn't sound Welsh. No. It's pili pala. There's and then there's the. Three words, main words for um, uh, butterfly words. So pili pala, very. Yeah, you really feel it, like. Yeah. Dangerous. And then yar bach er haf, okay. which means little chicken of the summer. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other is gloin beo, so living coal. Living coal. Because of the ones with the, that are black with orange um, on the edge. Okay. So. Very poetic. Way, yeah, yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so how we like goodbye, butterflies. Have a good day. So that's so, like Hoil Vaur. Hoil Vaur. Um Billy Palas. Hoil Vaur Billy Palas. The correct. <laughs> oh perfect. And can you say you do not do them as well? Can you tell me? Adieu Parvalius. Adieu Parvalius. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much. Merci for it. Salut